Hi, I'm Bob Batcher, Executive Director of Prime Plus Senior Centers, and this is Prime Time with Bob. Well, this morning I got in my Jeep and I had frost on the windshield. And I thought, what better day than uh, today to talk to a master gardener, something that I, I think I aspire to, and we'll find out at the end if I'm able to or not. Uh, Kate uh, Mel, Mel who, how you pronounce your last name for me. Mel Hewish. It sounds e easy. You're a Norfolk Master Gardener and Will Redfern, another Norfolk Master Gardener. Okay, what makes you guys masters of gardening? We are trained as volunteer educators through Virginia Cooperative Extension on the subject of horticulture. So each of us takes a 50 hour classroom training class and then uh, 50 hours of hands-on work um, all within one year to complete this certification program. And at the end of that, um, you do an internship. Uh, okay, we're having technical issues, mm -hmm. but I heard internship, which means you learn and then you do, right, Will? Yes, the internship is uh, one year. You have one year to complete your 50 volunteer hours that kind of go along with the 50 in classroom hours. And then you're an intern for that year. Once you finish all that, uh, or as soon as you finish your, your volunteer hours, you become a Norfolk Master Gardener. Okay, so once you become a Master Gardener, you never will ever move a plant because you put it in the wrong place to begin with. I always move plants, actually, because I'm, I'm thinking here's a better place I could, I could put it in. Oh, no. Okay. As we talked before taping, my goal in this conversation is to be able to take, show my wife this conversation and say, <laughs> I'm right, and you've been misdirected, and you uh, just messed me up. Sorry, Bob. It's okay to move a bush? It's okay to move a bush as long as you do it right. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> So, Kate, it's the doing it right part. Yes. Got to do it right. Yes, absolutely. And, and so, and those are the kinds right of... Right plant, you right are, place. Those are the kinds of things... Yes, you and you get... At the end of the training, you really feel empowered to do those kinds of things. You are you're really enthusiastic about... Um, looking at your surroundings and um, fixing things. Cool. Okay. You notice, ooh, I made a lot of mistakes and now I need to fix them. And they're, and they're fixable. Usually, yeah, usually. Now, so that's, the, but that's what usually gets me in trouble is I figure I'm putting dirt to dirt. So why do I need to dig that hole twice as big? Because it's going to grow anyway. So maybe here we need to focus on the phrase of the right way, right? As, okay. as long as you do things in the right way, you can usually fix things. And that's what you learn when you become a master gardener. What's the right way to, broadly speaking, fix things? Okay. Now let's talk about COVID and doing it the right way. For years and years, master gardeners have had a fantastic education way of doing it, right? And then March hit. And you guys figured out a different way to do it, didn't you? You mean the training part or the, yes. or the doing part, the training part? Yeah, so uh, we were barely able to finish our training class this past year because of COVID. Uh, and going forward in 2021, uh, this coming year, uh, we are not going to offer the in-person training class again. But instead, we've come up with, with what we call the master class for Norfolk Gardeners, which is going to be a public education uh, Zoom series uh, that's open to Norfolk residents, uh, city Norfolk employees in particular, that's our target audience. And this series is going to be 10 lectures. It's going to cover uh, 10 basic topics that we think every home gardener should know. And the idea is that you can watch these lectures and you can immediately implement in your own yard or wherever you do your work, uh, the, the principles that we're going to uh, show you in these in these presentations. So the uh, maybe we can throw up the, the flyer. Uh, the ten topics we're going to talk about are, are uh, 
herbaceous plants, uh, shrubs, trees, pruning, building healthy soil, vegetable gardening, pollinators, native plants, uh, lawn, lawn care, resilient landscape design, bugs, and uh, disease, how to, how to deal with disease and plant disease. So we think all these 10 things are very important for home gardeners to know. And they're all basic distillations of, the, of what we uh, teach and what we learn in our, in our in-person class. Cool, already I'm wowed because Kate just did something I can't do. So this yeah. is, <laughs> so again, you've learned, we've used that word pivot now. So really, even though the principles of gardening and you got, I mean, they go back hundreds of years, don't they? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but you don't, you don't just make this stuff up. So this is um, information that has been not only handed down as, um, as good gardening practices, but uh, further tested um, the stuff that the information that we give to the public is always um, university research based. So it's, it's information and techniques and practices that have been uh, that have stood the test of time, mm -hmm. but also um, have um, been uh, refined um, through research. Okay. Yeah, I would say science-based and practice-based. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a prime candidate, I got to tell you. Um, and I probably will be there on February 9th to get it started because I've been married 42 years and I want to be married 43. <laughs> and now that we're taking an interest in our yard, I'm, I'm going, I'm making that, I'm at a very pivotal point in life, I think, because I'm looking, I always view it on Saturday morning that it's time for me to put my yard shoes on and my shorts and stand behind the lawnmower and do yard work. And I've been told that I'll, I'll get out of bed a lot happier if I approach it as gardening. Yes, that's a good What's way to think about difference? it. Well, I, Kate, you want, to, you want to talk about this? Well, think of the difference between dirt and soil. Uh, and, and actually, uh, soils is one of the topics um, that will be covered in our class. Um, you're not just uh, working in the dirt you are learning about um, improving the, the quality of the soil from the ground up, literally from the ground up. Um, the ground that's up. a building block of, of what, yeah, of what you're learning. And um, so, oh man, there's just so many aspects of gardening to learn. And these 10 classes are, um, they're designed for the home gardener. Um, they are going to be topics um, that will improve people's understanding of how to approach yard work and and make it gardening. Um, they just, uh, as Will said, fundamentals yeah, and that everybody should know as they we're, go out in the backyard. I have a friend that comes over there. and he'll train my wife and then everything that went wrong was my fault. So I get in the garage and it's now, oh my God, which tool do I use? But if I take the class, it's not just passing information. It sounds like I'm gonna, you're gonna really kind of get me into the whole oomph of it. And then what's the, in now with this class, you won't be doing the internship though, right? Correct. This is not a certified uh, yeah, class. No. no volunteer hours, no certification. It's just for your own individual knowledge and practice. But I have a feeling that once you get exposed to it, you're gonna drive down the street of Norfolk and recognize things you never recognized before. That's our hope. And the other thing is we hope that people who take this class, uh, the series next year, may be inspired to come back in 2022 and take the full on 50 hour class and become Norfolk Master Gardeners. Okay. Um, just because they'll be so inspired by 
what they'll learn. Yeah, I, I need to share with you that one of the reasons we're having this conversation is uh, uh, a bunch of master gardeners a few weeks ago came over and planted over 300, I don't know if you knew it was that many, <laughs> Yeah, 300 plants in the ground in our new uh, community garden out back behind Prime Plus. And without an exception, I was nervous because it looked like some of the plants were dead. And you guys were all excited about them because they had good sturdy roots. Those plants were beautiful. I was among the- They know, were dead. <laughs> I, they were the sort of thing that if you were not- dormant, master, not dead, dormant. Oh. Right, exactly. You would look at them in the, in the um, nursery and say, I'm not too sure about this. If you, were, if you had not um, been trained to look at them and say, oh, this is beautiful. You, you guys, you had beautiful plants that were delivered. And I think next spring, you will be proud and amazed when those plants break dormancy and, uh, and start growing. And three years from now, poof. That will that we, will we be pruning them, maybe. And that's when we'll maybe. say, "Why don't we move it four inches over?" Uh, <laughs> let's hope not, because they'll be big. So, so that's what we just demonstrated is the difference between an ignorant homeowner who who hasn't been educated versus people that know what they're doing. I guess that's true, and I'll, I'll tell you that the group that planted had tremendous fun choosing what we consider to be the correct spot for all those varieties of plants. I think you had, um, oh my gosh, you had uh, at least a dozen different kinds of, of trees and shrubs and, and flowering plants to put in. And um, although there was a wonderful design um, by Brian O'Neill at mm -hmm. the Norfolk Botanical Garden, um, we, the design was general in scope. And so we had to choose, okay, we're gonna put five um, Black Eyed Susans in right here and seven over here and uh, 12 um, purple coneflowers over here. It was, it was just a lot of fun and we had a great time. So what I'm, what I'm sensing, again, this is in order for me to stay married for one more season, growing season. Inst so I, I, what I think I heard from you two was the beauty of the back garden is that it started with a plan. And yeah. then even, and then we bought those plants based on the plan and then you fine tune it. So yes. it's not a matter of going to Lowe's and saying, hey, we can get these four azaleas at $10 versus sticking to the plan. Yes, those you're are the right. kinds of things I'll learn in this class. I think uh, it's always nice to have a plan, but you should not uh, fear uh, re reworking the plan as you go along, right? Have a plan, have an idea, but feel free to redo it as you, you, know, as you work through it. William, I gotta tell you, you started off on the wrong foot and we're ending this conversation on the wrong foot. I, I also wanna throw in there, uh, I, I don't want anybody to get the impression that uh, you learn everything once you become a master gardener because it's kind of the base, not base level of knowledge that, that, that it's provided to the master gardeners. You're, you, as you continue being a master gardener over the years, you learn something every, almost every time you go out and do something, you learn. So you're continually adding to your base. And sometimes you realize, oh, what I learned in class was kind of only, it's only one way of doing things. There's maybe another way of doing things or a better way of doing things. So you continue to learn as you go through. There's no, I don't think there's any kind of absolute, this is the, only thing you can do here in the right way. Yeah, but I'll have zero influence until I sign up for the class. So how do I do it? How do I sign up for the class? Can I put that picture up again? Would it be right? Yep. Okay. So and then we've got about a half a minute left. This has been cool. I feel empowered to go home and move a plant. Good. Oh, you totally will. And as your long wife as my wife tells it. me where to put it. That's so the way the to do it. Classes are starting on February 9th through yes, April. Sir. February 9th. And uh, check our, um, you can email us, uh, we're, look on Eventbrite, um, Norfolk, uh, Master Classes for Norfolk Gardeners, and um, that should pop up right away. Yep. Or you can go to our website, and we have uh, this information on our website, too, and links there. 
Okay, and we'll have a link uh, promoting this uh, conversation. Thanks a lot for being patient with me. I feel like I'm going to go home and do it the right way. I hope you'll do the class. That'd be great to see you there. I would. My wife and I will do it. Great. Super. Exciting. Okay. And remember that um, these classes, if you sign up for them, they'll be available all the way through 2021 so to the end. So you do not have to actually be there at that class. Uh, you can watch the recording through the end or of the year. Or when I go in the garage and say, what tool am I supposed to use? I can pull out my phone and rewatch the class. Absolutely. And sit in the lounge chair under the sun. How's yes. that? Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. We're, I'm excited about the relationship that we're developing between Master Gardeners and, uh, and Prime Plus and the gardening and really kind of exposing the world to what beauty can be if you're educated. Exactly. Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. And keep in mind, stay safe. And stay connected. Catch you next time. Thanks a lot.